Oh. What would you like me to say, sir? Well, you can call me whatever you want besides the real name. You can call me Thunder Slapper or whatever the fuck you call me. Shout outs to Thunder Slapper. There you go. <laughs> the last dose. The last slapper. All right. All right, man. You have yourself a good night, man. All right, brother. You too, man. All right. Have a good stream. Appreciate it, brah. All right. Episode status. All right, so we're going to do uh, episode one. Do standard. Uh, let me see here. I'm trying to remember how I, uh, cause I can update my stream information from here. Can't remember how. There it is. Walking Dead. There we go. Yeah, it's an older game. <laughs> Uh, no, I have not played this game, Vague. Game series adapts to the choices you make. Blah, 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 blah. I've only seen a couple scenes from a couple episodes so yeah my nuts do I like quick time events yes let me know how the volume is if it's too loud too low etc etc <laughs> well, the, the little bit that I did watch it pulled me in I reckon you didn't do it then. Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Why do you say that? Hold up. Uh, gameplay. Subtitles on. I am. You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. And what do you say? I say, yep, I know you didn't. Actions literally make the game. Yeah, that's what intrigued me about it so much. I followed your case a little bit. You being a making boy and all. What do you think? I'm just glad I chose law and not order. Big mess of trial like that. Even if you was innocent, a lot of what happened can't ever be undone. Yeah, I'm, I'm really a big fan of story-driven games. And the fact that, you know, this... I got a nephew up at UGA. The fact that this, uh, you know, it, it reminds me of Fable a little bit. You meet your wife in Athens? You want to know how I see it? Sure. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. Yeah, Lord knows I did years ago. <sighs> oh, fuck you. I'm driving this man once. I call it the next generation. All right, bearded. Sounds good, man. Thanks for the sub. Thanks for the host. He was no Appreciate you hanging out with us, man. Soft eyes a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. 
crying and snotting all over right where you're all sitting. Officers are available for incoming to one then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like like a fussy baby on an airplane. Not tell him he's got to stop. <laughs> oh, bad. The property, and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. So did he do it? They caught the fucker red-handed. Stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. It goes to show, people will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious if I do say so. This other time... <laughs> Well, I fucked that up. <laughs> Fuck! I kind of want to redo that. Homeboy's dinner out there, man. I want to go uh, help him out. Now oh, he's just gonna take a nap. Okay, that's cool. Take a nap. Oh shit! Thirsty. You want some pussy? Is that what you're trying to say? Are you all right? I'm still cocked back here. Why the hell did he have his gun out? Mm, my guess would be to shoot whatever the fuck it was. Officer? Oh, that doesn't look good. He wasn't ejected from the car. He's not moving. He must have the handcuff keys on him. Yeah. He must have the handcuff keys on him. He must have the handcuff keys on him. Dig it. Dig it. Dig it. Ah. There we go. I need to drag myself out that window. Well, let's I go. I need to drag myself out that window. Shit. See, I missed that quick time event completely. I wonder if I'd have told him to watch out if everything had been alright. Officer? I think homeboy is dead. Officer? Give me that. Shit. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> there you go. Unlock it. Thank you. Oh shit! Uh, 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 holy shit! What in the hell? Where's the gun? Where's the gun? Get away from me! That. Where are you? Oh my god, dude! Put the fucking shell in the gun. What are you doing? Get wrecked. Mmm. Campbell's Chunky Zoop. Zombie brain. Man. This kid's all rotten and he 
was like, shit. Achievement unlocked out of the frying pan. What the hell is this? Are you dead? Hey! Are you dead? Rewind to about 30 seconds ago. Okay. I took a shotgun. He was from me to you. Bam! Right in the skull, in the face, in this general area. If you look at him, his shit is all split open. And you're going to look at him and say, hey, are you dead? I mean, he looks fucking dead to me, dude. What, what am I doing? What the hell am I doing? Someone! There, there's been a shooting! Yeah? Uh-oh. So he's not dead. Dude, his wig is split open now. Mm, hungry! Oh my god, dude! Go! Mmm, brains. Hungry. Hungry. Food over here, let's go. Nom nom. <laughs> Hello, anybody? I wonder if anybody's home. <laughs> nom nom nom. <laughs> Dude, it looks like the dragon head is actually eating the cookie. That's perfect. I wonder if anybody's home. I don't know. Let's go knock. I wonder if anybody's home. My God. Just open the. I wonder if anybody's home. Really? Can you open the sliding glass door? No? No bum ass leg and shit. Okay. Help! Help! Maybe I should just check inside the house through the glass door before wandering out at You already did! Maybe I should just check inside the house through the glass door before wandering out. Was I not just standing at the glass door oh going God. like this? Yell if you can hear me. You wouldn't open the door. You would just, I wonder if anybody's home. I wonder if anybody's home. Like, dude. Oh, my God. I'm such an idiot. I didn't realize I could scroll down and select the fucking hand icon. Wow, I'm so stupid. Home? I need a little help. And they're probably making a porno in there. You might not want to go in there. Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? Not an intruder. Or 
one of them. These people might need more help than I do. Got a coloring book. Obviously, there's kids. And prints and shit in the book. Oh my god. Dude, are you kidding me? Are you that helpless? Come on, man. What is this? Take a cup of water? Sure. Got anything in here? How about over here? There's a radio. Probably use that. I mean, looking around ain't gonna do nothing, but you know. Thing in there? Nope. About in here. Not a damn thing. Look in the cabinets. Here? Nope. I've read in here. There's some canned food in there that you could eat, bud. Oh, I mean, plenty of food. All right. Mm, the Marsh House. That's a Savannah area code. But that's the type of note you'd leave a babysitter. Huh? Right. Are you going to slip in the blood again? interact with those nothing up there to interact with okay the fuck is that noise What's that beeping maybe there's something on there yeah three new, new messages. messages message one left at 5:43 p.m hey sandra this is diana we're still in savannah uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Message 2. Left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please. Must be the outbreak. Leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Marietta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message 3. Left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby. If you can hear this, call the police. That's 911. We love you. We love you. We love you. The fuck is going on? Daddy? Huh? Oh? Hello? You need to be quiet. Not a monster. Good. Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Hepatitis A. Are you safe? I'm outside in my tree house. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. Mm, fuck! Oh my god, you fucking idiot! Fuck 
off me. Fucking wrecked. Wrecked. Did you kill it? Yes. It's okay. I think she was a monster. Yeah, I think so too. Obviously. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah. I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while. You know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened. But I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? We need to find help before it gets dark. Yeah, it's not safe at night. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Stay close. To I ain't moving in the dark. His bum leg gets fixed. Oh, man, I ain't never getting home to Mama at this rate. This sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. Oh, what's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? Not coming home. I won't leave you alone. Well, let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's a good idea. Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. <laughs> Do you know what the hell this is? No idea. So you've seen them then? You could say that. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee. This is All right, Sean. Lee Clementine. I'm Chet. Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. I'm... Her babysitter. Her parents are out of town. Let's get going. Stay with that's probably the best answer. Mistake. What do you want to do? I... <clears throat> The monster's coming. We gotta go. Uh, hungry. Let's go. There you go. Shit. Yeah. Go, 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 go! Excuse me. Bye. Sitters go. I'd say your parents owe you a tip. Bye. <laughs> Been gone, motherfuckers. Achievement unlocked in your charge.
farm. Nice. Peace and solidarity, hey, sweet. I'm gonna run on home. My mom was gonna be in a snip. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. See you later, Chet. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you, then. You've brought a couple guests. Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter, then? Oh, not his daughter. He's the babysitter. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay, then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Wait, leg patched up. I can actually move! Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. Could be worse. That's what it sounds like. Seems like things got awful bad in the cities. What did you say your name was? It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. Oh, shit, Herschel, okay. How'd this happen? Car accident. That's so. Where are you headed before the car accident? Home. Where's home? I grew up in Macon. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with, the girl? Nobody. Is that so? Yeah, it is. You said we. That's all. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there, and we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem Clementine. Can't imagine didn't what pay you've attention been to that. Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we got to reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Your son's right. You're going to want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. I got chased by a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We got to do it. Really. I already said okay. <laughs> Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. If your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Okay, that'd be preferable. <laughs> There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards making, I suppose. All right, then. Probably should have been honest with him. I got a feeling I'm going to come to regret that. It smells like... Manure. Manure? Like when a horse plops? Just like that. <laughs> like when a horse plops? My mom and oh dad. man, when a horse plops. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, 
Okay. What did you think about a babysitter doesn't add up? I didn't tell him the truth. <laughs> Having nightmares. I'm assuming that's about his wife. Hey, get up. <sighs> I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of fence. There's a tractor and everything. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. <laughs> That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Duck? Yeah. Nothing bothers him. Like water off a duck's back, you know? That's a valuable trait lately. No kidding. But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. Damn! <laughs> um, he makes up for it with... Dumb as a bag of hammers. The word is, you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. I'll see what the girl would like. Ah, gotta consult the missus. I understand. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I wanna build a fence! Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! <laughs> Duck and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Alright. Hey there, girls. So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale, like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. Yeah. It can't stay like this. No, I used to. I was let go a little while back. That's too bad. Well, I hear people always clamor back to college after a big disaster. People don't want to die ignorant, I guess. Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. Uh, actually, I need to probably finish out their dialogue. Hey. How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people. Over some, just, Ooh. just... Uh, it's okay, it's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then I can't take away the things we... The things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Anybody in their right mind would. Families and barbecues and beers with good friends. All of those things. Ain't go wrong with that. Those are the things we live for, right? With those gone, what's the point? You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how's that? It's easy. Well, yeah. <laughs> so, you're good? Well, yeah. Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. Go talk to Kenny. Hey there, uh, Kenny. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? 
I think I've got it handled okay. Long as I keep her safe, I think I'm doing all right. With those things out there, maybe, sure, that's enough. But you gotta ask yourself if you're the type of guy who can do better than that if her parents don't show up. I'll keep that in mind. Hey, he's got a good point. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. How's your son doing? Good, I think. Katya's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. I guess one of those... <clears throat> one of those... Things got him, I'm assuming. Walk around a bit, see what we can see what we can do here. You know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. I'm good. <laughs> Sean's still working on that fence. Sean's still working on that fence. Well, I'm gonna try to help him. How are these things to drive? Awesome! Pain in the ass, mostly. Big, heavy as hell, and slower than, uh... <clears throat> Go this way, oh, we're automatically back to the barn. Uh, can't go in the barn, all right. Can we go inside? inside? Uh, can we go out here? Nope, can't go out there. So, what are we doing? Tractor again? Nope. Do you uh, think this thing will keep him out? Not yet. I'm planning on coming back through on a fortification pass, if you will. We'll lock this place up good. Do you uh, think this thing will keep him out? Not yet. I'm planning on coming uh, back through on a fortification what are pass. We doing here? Well, we'll lock this place up good. Sean's still working on that fence. Yeah. It's just whatever scraps I could find around the property. Okay. Uh, do we talk to Clementine? Seems like those two are getting along. Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. Oh. It's not the most reliable pickup in the world, but it gets the job done. Yeah? What what am I doing here? Interacting well, there's something I gotta interact with. Interact with the well. Oh. Nothing to interact with there. Uh can I interact with anything over here? Nope. Right with the, what what the fuck am I doing, yo? It's actually a piece of shit, but Hall's all right. Cut is good with her.
Third time I've waved at him. Oh, well, I have interacted with everything that I can. Hey, oh, there we go. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. Dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Damn. Oh shit, damn. He didn't even hesitate. Uh, he just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. It don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh, uh... I had to shoot one. I could shoot one. Maybe. If it were far away. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? My brother and parents are in Macon. I hope. No, oh, man. I hope so, too. Maybe it's not too bad there. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. And Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. <laughs> Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. All right. Here, there's nothing. Hey, Lee. Still need a hand? I'm good. Maybe go check on my dad in the barn? All right. Making sure. should know that if you weren't leaving with Kenny today, I wouldn't stand for your lack of honesty last night. I'm not sure I follow. I ain't dumb. I caught you in that lie last night about who you were with in that car. Yeah, and I knew honestly, that was going to bite me. Want to know. How'd you get out of Atlanta? Uh, on foot. I headed south and hoofed it out of there. That's a long walk. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? No wife. Uh, not anymore. Uh, I think she's up in Virginia, maybe. Sorry to hear it. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? I was being attacked and she came to my rescue. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did, but you better become a better liar and fast. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're going to have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're going to make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're going to be in trouble. So whoever you are and whatever you did, keep it to your damn self. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. The hell? Go! I'll get my gun.
Oh, fuck. them both. Look at him. You thought wrong. And now? Please. Just go. Get out and never come back. <sighs> That's just it. I don't think I can retry. to make it if you want it. I don't think I can. We can try. We can try it. If that was me though, I, I would save the kid. For real, I would. You know the kid's a retard. <laughs> I'd still save him. But yeah, we'll uh, we'll see if we can do it. Let's we'll see if we can redo it. Left. He didn't even help. I'm okay, Pop. I'm okay. I can fix you. Don't worry. We'll stitch you up. It almost, it almost got me, man. It, Lee tried to save me. Uh huh? I know, son. All right, hang on a minute. God damn it, dude. He needs to just stay in there. You tried to help him. 
but this piece of shit let him die. You don't need to say anything. You tried. Please, just go. Get out and never come back. Got that ride to make it if you want it. Hell yeah. Alright, hang on.
All right. Sorry about that. No, RJ fucking grabbed a bottle of bleach somehow when she was when she fell asleep and just sprayed it all in his fucking room. So now his room smells like bleach. Now who does that? Yeah, I know. Got some of it cleaned up, but I just opened up a window and put the fan on full blast to help air it out and blow it out the window until it well, dries. This is as far as we're going. And it's far enough. Ridiculous. Oh no, he, he's out. He's out of there. He just, he was in the living room the whole time. Look. He just got fucking bored and just went in there and, oh, I'm gonna spray bleach hey everywhere because I'm bored. You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. He look friendly? Fuck. Oh lord, did you jam? him? No. <laughs> I see one little girl. What is it? I... I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. In a minute, Clem. They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. I don't give a flying fuck. We're in a war zone. She's an asshole, that's for sure. That's what it takes. Well, you don't have to be a bitch about it. Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Over my dead body. We'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no fight. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It, it's... Lily, I'll handle this. But your heart, Dad. You need to calm down. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Everyone chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. Sit down. See it. You're gonna whoop me? <laughs> you and what homo parade? This one. <laughs> That's good. Little boy, before you eat your mommy, you can watch your dad get his nose broken. I'm gonna kill him, cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Key's behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, when she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. She'll turn fast. And then, there'll be three. It's a little boy. I think we can handle it. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man-eater. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now! 
Knock this guy out. Happily. Jesus. Uh. Oh, man. Really, dude? Yo, get up. God damn, I'm mashing E or Q. You okay? Just great, thanks. Uh, guys? Uh, Everybody down. Stay quiet. We're gonna get in. Shut up. Is that the military? We almost died because of this bitch and a Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was. Uh, uh, Dad! Ah! Uh, uh. There you go. I did try to get him to calm down. Can it, asshole? It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. There's probably another entrance. Maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, educated guess. It doesn't matter. We need nitroglycerin pills. <laughs> Nitro Please boom. get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown naked. Fast. Agreed. Then I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. You know your way around? Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you? You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. <laughs> now get him those pills. All right. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. Uh, not right now. All right, let me know if you want to. Uh, little boy's probably in the back somewhere. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. Batteries. There's no batteries in this thing. What now? You know that there are no batteries in that thing. Yeah, of course. I, I mean, yeah. No. I can try <laughs> to find some. Needs two. 
Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. D cell. <laughs> Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. It's not damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. Give me that. Never know, I might need it. Hey there. Hi. Can I uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. I'll see about that. Hey, we already got something. So, um. Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just. Uh, no, I did not. I'm good. That's good. Yeah, I think so. Uh, being good is good, despite the circumstances. Yep. Any word from Glenn? Nothing. Is he okay? Yeah, I think so. You're doing a good job. We'll sit tight. Okay. Wait, I got an energy bar. Can I give her the energy bar? Oh, there it is. It's not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. There we go. Alright. So... Another one. How's it doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. You didn't have to call me a bitch in front of my people. I don't need that shit, alright? It's hard enough to be in charge of people's lives without some dick cutting you down. And that violence before with my dad? That didn't help. What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up walking around, eating people, and turning them into more... more of them. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force Base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shit. Zombie game free to play? Hell yeah, I'll have to check Sometimes it out. A plane if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UGA. Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah, the owners, they were, uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dowd hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. Oh. What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. He's got a temper. Ah, fuck you. Yeah, he doesn't mean it. It's just that... Yeah? Never mind. I'm sure he's a good guy. He is. He just has his issues. Where's her mom? Savannah, I think. Oh, you guys aren't together. Oh, uh, no, I'm not her dad. I found her in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with the sitter. It wasn't good. Well, she's lucky to have you. I'm gonna get back to him now. Alright. Uh, there's another energy bar. Take that. I'm looking to see if I see any batteries. We Let's... can't let anything happen to Ducky. It's all no, melted no. now. Hey, Lee. Maybe punching him wasn't such a good idea. There were worse plans. Says the guy who didn't get punched in the mouth. Anyway, we, Kat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kidding. 
How is she doing? She's good, I think. She's a tough one right there. She's just a little girl, Ken. What are you saying, Lee? She spent days surviving on her own? That's right. Not just any little girl can do that. Yep. What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? They, uh, own this place. They, uh, pulled some bodies out of the office before we got here. They're gone. Oh, sweetie. Cat. They were good people. I wasn't around much, but yeah, they're dead. Are you guys all right? Oh, we're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. Please, <coughs> you got a second? Sure. <coughs> Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. I panicked, you know. I'm not proud of it. It happens. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. Yeah. That's rough. I killed that boy. We could have saved him together. You didn't have a choice. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. Try to let it go. Yeah. All you can do. All you can do. I mean, I'm sure it's easier. We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. It's not much, done. but here, for the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. Not sweet, Lee. All right, uh, photographs. I don't remember them very well. Newspaper clippings. Nothing. Battery. There's one. No, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead cards. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's funny. Uh, I'm assuming... Central High Tech State. Paper's a week old. Feels like years. I'm assuming the other battery that we need... Is gonna be over here. I'm not seeing. Yeah, I can't go. Okay. There it is. Never mind. I got it. There we go. All right. Got the batteries. This battery should fit the radio. Great. Thanks. And here's another one. Should be able to get it to work now. Yep. Here, I've been finding some stuff to eat. Oh, uh, thanks. You're welcome. Are you sure your girl doesn't eat it? She's good. I've been trying to keep her fed and watered. You're a good caretaker. Thanks. Hey, Connie. It's still not working? Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me have a look at that thing. Go ahead. Batteries in backwards. Take a look at this first. Yep. They're in backwards. There you go. As the you fixed it. Continues to spread unchecked. The estimated death toll continues to skyrocket. WABE urges you to stay indoors and avoid any contact with individuals you suspect may have been exposed. The station is okay. In the event of a full... Uh, uh, my, my producer's telling me we have to get off the air. Steve. Uh, WABE wishes you and your loved ones... God bless you all. 
All right. Gotta be rough. How are you doing? Okay. Everyone out there seem all right to you. Yeah. Well, maybe not the sick guy. Yeah. We'll keep an eye on him. And there was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Can you do that more? Well, I'm not gonna go looking for him. I mean get the dangerous ones I'm gonna try good have you heard from Glenn not in a little while have you heard from Glenn not in a little while meant to exit I'm gonna keep looking around okay all right this door leads to the back alley yeah came in here hoping to survive but it looks like one of them was hurt I wonder if it was my dad <laughs> trying to be a hero maybe or a protector at least there's a photo over there oh Find anything? Just a picture of whoever was here. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? No. I've been sticking to first names for a reason. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Oh, he might be getting him some poo-tang. Alright, uh, there's a first aid first kit aid here. Kit. Take that, see what we got in here. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. Uh, move this. What's that? This is my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you with your hat. My dad gave it to me. See, dads are smart like that. Alright, uh... I ought to clear a path to opening that door. Yeah. There's Better this get this way. door clear, huh? Can I help? Oh. Sure. Here Wants we go. to help us. Watch your fingers in the drawers. Uh. How are you doing? Yeah, it's not that heavy. How about with everything outside? It's not good. No. It's not. But I think it'll be okay. okay. Optimistic. Here we go. Do you have 
have kids? No. You don't have a family? Let's not talk about that. Do you play sports? I play soccer, but I don't really like it. I'm not crazy about it either. <laughs> All right, a little further. Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? Because they're dead. Oh, I'm sorry. You didn't know. I'm just sorry for being mean. Look, my family's Aww. gone, and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I got into some trouble, and, and I didn't talk to them for a while. This used to be their store. But let's just keep that between you and me, okay? Okay. Because of the trouble? Yeah, that's right. Now, let's get this done. Maybe at least be honest with her. Ow! Uh-oh. Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. I'll find you a bandage. The one right here. Dad kept the remote for that thing in here someplace. Probably in the drawer. Let's have a look at that finger. How? It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. There you go. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? They'll, uh... Track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? Yeah, I couldn't tell her that her parents were dead. I couldn't. That's just too much. It's the remote to my dad's TV. Not sure what that's going to do for us, but yeah. That's what I figured. All right. How's your thing? It's okay. Thanks for fixing it. <laughs> I'm going to keep looking around. Okay. It's locked. Um, honestly, it'll probably be on the next stream. I want to make this an episodic thing. It's locked. We need to track down the keys if we're going to help Larry. Where the hell are the keys? That's the door to the pharmacy. We should be able to find pills for Larry in there. Is he in here somewhere? Head back into the drugstore with me. Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I... Uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? No, he wasn't. Oh. Was he bad? He was. I'd rather be honest. Hey. I'm gonna get back to him now. Oh, okay. Well, oh, just fuck me then. Where the hell are these keys? Hey. 
Hey there. Story of the century here, huh? Yeah, and I've got shit for recording equipment. And from the looks of it, there isn't going to be any shortage of first-hand accounts. You do radio? That's right. Well, until some piece of shit politicians yank our funding, and I hit the blogosphere. That radio sign-off didn't sound too good. Are you okay? I'm fine. You don't have to be. It's traumatic. I'm sure some people got out. Maybe they're all being rescued. Then again, maybe not. Hey there. Uh, this is Glenn, and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? saw a chance to get some supplies for the group and a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey Glenn, we're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, alright? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. Well, I w Where are the fucking keys, man? I just had an epiphany. I know where the keys are. We gotta go in the back alley and search the body. I guarantee you that's where they put the bodies and the keys are on one of those bodies. I guarantee it. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, we're gonna have to gonna have to search the bodies. Get down. He was literally right there. How did he not see you? things notice us not yet there's a survivor trapped up there no way we gotta go now listen i was out here looking for gas and then up there in the corner room i heard crying coming from inside who is it it's a girl we talked and she got frightened i was trying to get in and help her and she started yelling and saying i was bitten i tried to convince her i wasn't and that's when all these guys came out of the forest a, a couple almost got me I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Can we Lucky just not you. save her? Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her with or without you. Think about if it was you. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. <laughs> we got two there. One over there. There's an axe. One by the car. One over there munching. Shit. Here we are. Okay, this is the plan. We don't know how hard it's gonna be to get her out of that room. Yeah, it's boarded up. So we have to kill every one of them in here. Quietly. Noise attracts these things. Now let's have a look around. We can hide by that RV. back there trying to get into a room but I didn't see anyone actually in there I'm not 
not sure I can take them both out myself, even if I have a weapon. We're a little naked out here, except for Carly's gun, and we can't use that much. Let me think this through here. Keep hitting the wrong shit. We can do something with that car, I bet. If it weren't for that fellow lurking near the front. Their groaning attracts the others. Fuck. some attention. Be careful. How the fuck else am I gonna get it? How are you going to kill that one by the car without attracting the others? He's not going anywhere. Figure out what to do here. I'm not sure I can take them both out myself, even if I had a weapon. I mean, what what do I do? I don't have anything. Ah. There's a pillow over there. That's about as far as I got when it came to supply gathering. I might have an idea for it. Good luck smothering them to death. That's not really what I have in mind. Got it. They really want to get into that room. What are you gonna do with that? I don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools, or making a bunch of noise, and none with pillows. What are you gonna do with that? I don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools, or making a bunch of noise, and none with pillows. You 
should hold on to that. Be coming in. Still not gonna help. Wait. Let me see the spark plug. Close on inside these things turns car windows to tissue paper. Scramble of rain, pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. He'll kill this fucker. Dude, where'd your weapon go? Into that ice pick sized hole. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. It's cool. Now we've got this. Are you two done? Yeah, read that. Let's go. Two more. That should help. Lag behind just in case this goes to hell. Okay, we'll be right behind you. Get wrecked. Rad. You're fucking wrecked, dude. Hello in there. We're here to help. Please just go away. Let's go, guys. In a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. Please. She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. I might want to break through that board first. Stop! Just stop! I'm coming out. You're hurt. Oh, God. I, I said stay away. We need to get you help. It's too late for that. Guys, she's been bitten. What? I told you, I said go away! I'm bit! But you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. 
You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die, and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. You have a boyfriend? When? I don't want that. It's not Christian. Please, just leave me. Please go. What if you turn and follow us back to our group? I know, that was why I was locked away. I can't let this happen to me. You have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me? I can just, you know, end this, and then, then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please, I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're satanic. We can't let you do that to yourself. Then do it for me! We need to get going. Give it to me, please! This is crazy! Please, step back. It's just two seconds, just one bullet, and I can be with my family, and it'll all be fine. Miss. Back up! Please! Ow. Whoa, take it easy. We just want to help. You can't. Miss, just relax now. You need to think this through. We'll yeah, I can. To a doctor. It'll be okay. That's all just. Oh, no, no! And you just attracted noise. Get out of here. Shit. Here they come. Get in. Probably should have gave her the bullet or the gun. Everyone all right? Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine, and well, yeah, we're okay. I've got a few cans of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. Alright. Well, now that we have an axe, we don't really need the keys. I'll be right back. Alright. So now, I'm assuming we can break this door down without the keys. Okay, I guess not. Never mind. Well, that was worth a shot. Keys it is, I guess. Damn, I didn't thought maybe we could break down the door without having to find the keys. Oh well. Go oh, out the door. All right. Well, looks like we're gonna have to go outside and go around. Check on Glenn real quick. How you doing, Glenn? You know. Back the motor in. How can it be that bad so fast? You know, when things are taken away, people do crazy shit. I guess. 
That's not me. I'm not giving up. Not for anything. Good, man. Good. I guess she really wanted that gun. Seems like. Yeah, I'd say Why so. Why didn't you tell Carly to just give it to her? People can't be given up. This will pass. I'm with you. I'm glad to hear it. Hell yeah. What's your story, Glenn? I deliver pizzas around here. I brought a couple to the Everts a few times. Sorry. I mean, the folks that own this place. <laughs> just really good people. It sucks seeing this place like this. Isn't that the truth? What's your next move? I don't know. I mean, you guys seem okay. What about your family? Yeah. Nope. I, <laughs> I... Forget it, man. That's your business. I hate feeling like I can't do anything. I know the feeling, man. Try to get some rest. <laughs> yeah, right. Hey, after witnessing that, I wouldn't count on it so much. Yeah, Carly's holding up. Oh, that guy saved you? Yeah, can you believe it? Those creeps are, or ghouls or whatever the that, hell they are. The they were pulling earlier. our van apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are going to be, I suppose. He's kind of cute. In that parent's basement sort of way. Huh? Huh? Oh, nothing. How'd you end up here? We drove up to cover the Cherry Blossom Festival. Real hard-hitting stuff. Sounds worth it. I better get back to it. Yep. Yep, thanks, that. by the way. Don't mention it. Just remember what I said. Yeah, I will. All right. How we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Yeah, I got to. I got to find them damn keys. Let's have a look around. Okay. Jesus. <laughs> Okay, so we can't get to the alley this way. Um. They just eat. As far as I can tell, that's all they care about. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. Can't reach that brick. It's a combination lock. Yeah. Look at the one trapped over there. Better hell oh. that's me. Oh. Oh shit. What? Do you know that guy? Kind of, he has a familiar face. Oh, you're from around here, huh? Could be anybody, you know. They start rotting and they cheat up. Oh, yeah, I'm not Shut getting them keys. Look at the uniform, though. He could have worked at the drugstore and died with keys in his pocket. Yep. It would take a lot of effort to make it safe enough to go out there and see if he has the keys. Somehow prove that he worked here. I think it'd be worth it. I'll see what I can find. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. I just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. Yeah? yeah that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around. Wow, oh, yeah, I was gonna say. I can't reach that brick. What do you mean you 
can't reach it, dude. Think you can do anything with this? Yeah, I used to fiddle around with stuff like that when I was a kid, but there's not much to do with it now. And I miss my robots. You're a strange guy, Dad. <laughs> Can we go back inside, please? Let's head back inside. Okay. I'm assuming I'm gonna have to use the cane to pull the brick that's literally like two feet away from me. Because apparently I can't stretch out between the bars and grab the fucking brick that's literally two feet away from me. So, my guess is gonna be. I don't know if we can open up this back alley or not. Yeah, we can't. Uh, where's the cane? What? I can't even grab the cane. That's what I figured. Seba ping? What? I was hoping maybe we could interact with the back alley more, but no. Nope. <sighs> Shit balls. Try to get some rest, hun. How can I with those things out there? Nothing to interact with over here. How we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Let's have a look around. Okay. I mean, what am I doing here? Open sesame. <laughs> I was kidding. It's universal, but not that universal. <laughs> Hang on, Doc. Awesome. Now to distract those things. There we go. Carefully. I can't reach that brick. Dude, really? Can you reach it now? <laughs> Holy shit! Man, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Didn't work. Huh? What was that? Vandalism. Nice. I got an idea. What? Oh. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. I just hope the power is still on. You can just do that? Yeah. I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. Nice. Well, fucking done, Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? Huh? What's that? Huh? Is that food? I'm hungry. Let's eat it. Wow. Now's the time. Yeah. Go. Be careful. 
Keep an eye out, will you? Stop talking to the dead body. Let's go. Fucking hit him in the head. Seriously, man. Thank you. <laughs> hey, bud. Got it. There we go. Go. That's the door to the pharmacy. We no. Find pills for Larry in there. Come on. Here it is. Oh no! Shit! We gotta hurry. Fucking alarm. Holy shit. Doc, come on, baby, time to go. I'm gonna get the truck pulled up right back. Do it fast. I gotta get my dad out of here. I don't plan on dilly dallying. Honey, take Duck into the office and barricade the living hell out of the door behind me. Glenn, when you hear me honking in the alley, start getting people out of here. You got it. Doug, Carly, and Lee, you guys make sure our defenses stay up till then. And Lee, I better take that axe in case I run into any of them on the way to my truck. Here you go. I got that door's not locked anymore. Shit. You three, get on it. I'll get back as fast as I can. Stay away from the windows. Shit. Damn it. 
Sorry, sorry, Doug. Sorry. Oh my God. Let's go. Carly seems more. Uh, shit. Motherfucker. That motherfucker. Wrong choice. Every choice is a wrong choice in this game. I'd much rather save Carly than Doug. Doug, what the hell is Doug going to do? Carly can shoot at least. friends there and I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city sounds like nobody knows what's happening there when we left a few days ago could have gone either way I'll be there shortly take my chances You gotta do and I gotta do this I respect that you guys be safe we'll try I don't think it really would have mattered right there Kid. Close call. The Mo. <laughs> Thanks for picking me up. No problem. I'll be streaming again Monday night. Yeah. Um we do. Hey. As far as I know, I'll be streaming Monday night. Yeah. Earlier I said there's some stuff out there that might screw up a precious so I'll, uh, girl I'll, I'll be playing this more Monday night. Well, I still think that's true. But after what I saw today, I think between you taking care of her and her taking care of herself, you two are gonna be just fine. Thanks, Kenny. You got it. Where are we going here? How you doing, Carly? I'm okay. 
you know, considering. I do, yeah. I can't stop thinking about Doug. We couldn't have saved him, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I know it's stupid. We just met, and he was such a... It's just that I think that I liked him. I'm sorry, Carl. It's okay. Thanks, though. There's been a lot of death in the past few days. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait, Lee? What is it? How did you choose? We both needed you. You picked me. I was gonna help you both. But you helped me first. Yeah, I did. I just wish we both could have made it, you know? Me too, Carly. Yeah, Tuesday is what I mean. Well, you know, same thing. I'm coming for you, motherfucker. But you know what? He wasn't. Oh, and then. Hey, Duck. Uh, you want to cool it for a minute? Okay. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. There's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's. I got grabbed again. I was there, though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's yeah, Vega, uh, if you want, mom and dad. if you have the Discord out, join gone. up on Discord, man. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. I'm all, everybody's everybody's usually pretty active. Let me go deal with this. I always update everybody on uh, Discord too when I'm streaming. What do you want? You like my daughter? Yeah, she's great. Well, stay the fuck away from her. Or what? Or uh, everyone will know that you, Lee Everett, are a killer. And you were before it was something you had to do to stay alive. I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. Hey, Lee, do you have a second? Oh, man, you should download it. My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That guy Doug is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. There are worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. Lights out. All right. That's going to do it for the stream, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out. Much love as always. Oh, we get a preview. Hold up. We get a preview. I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. You don't owe me anything, Carly. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. Don't repeat what happened with the walkers at Herschel's farm. You choose the kids this time. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The walkers don't worry me as much as the babies.
now, wouldn't you? You dumb idiot. You and 36% of players lied. Wow. You and 40% of 47% of players chose Sean. Died with Kenny. You and 48% of players defended Kenny. Give Irene the gun. You and 55% of players refused the gun. Who would you save, Doug or Carly? You and 76% of players chose Carly. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you, Jim. <laughs> I didn't know that I could save both. I just went for the one that knows what they're doing. I didn't know. I knew lying to Herschel would have fucked us in the in the end, though. I don't know if it would have really changed anything, but I should I should have just told him. Should have just told him the truth. Yeah, I'm gonna uh, I'm really gonna enjoy this. I hope you guys are enjoying it because I know I am. I'm I'm hooked into it. The story's great. Very very well detailed story. So far that I can tell. From the first episode, anyway. It won't be Sunday night. I'll be streaming Monday night. Monday night slash Tuesday morning. I'm afraid to skip anything. I want to make sure I save it. That was great, man. That was really good. Honestly, I don't think it would have mattered how we went about handling um, the dad. Forget his name already. Um, I don't think it really would have mattered. It seems like he's just a complete fucking cock knocker. So I don't think it would have mattered what choice what choice that we made. All right, so episode one is done. So yeah, guys, much love as always. I won't be streaming tomorrow night or Sunday night. Um, like I said, the schedule's all out of whack. It's gonna be out of whack for a little while till we get things figured out. Um, I do plan on streaming Monday night slash Tuesday morning, 12.45 a.m., same time, same place. We are gonna be playing this. Um, I don't know if there's gonna be a game before this i might do a straw poll um check discord check twitter for straw polls i may do something like uh do you want to see the whole stream the walking dead or do you want to play something else first then do the walking dead i don't know we'll see how it goes keep your eyes out for a straw poll guys thanks so much for hanging out i will catch y'all monday night till then take care much love and i will see y'all next time